Humans, the most mysterious creatures on the entire planet. There is no other life form that compares to the levels of attainable intelligence or the potentials of creativity. There is no other animal that can illustrate such depths of wisdom, while at the same time demonstrate the depths of ignorance. What other being is there that can create and destroy on a scale comparable to ourselves? Is there another species that can comprehend the future as we do? Or another that can live in regret due to the events of the past? If one desires to be better, then it's the best part of oneself that will need to rise to the surface. We are a species with amnesia and have forgotten how to abide to the laws of life. Collectively, we consider ourselves to be above these laws. We tend to think that we stand apart from nature, even though we are a part of it. We must consider the health of our environment as it provides us with abundance. All we actually need is water, nutrition, shelter and medicine. Everything else is secondary and without moderation, we slowly but surely lose that which matters most, balance and natural order. But we can be forgiven, for we are social beings and are the result of our environments. We are not led by the best of us. We are led by those who are the most troubled, traumatized and corrupted. These people without love, who have limitless power, are engineering a world of selfishness and greed, a world of division, hate and conflict. To distract the masses from the pain of that reality, a lie was designed to keep us from true happiness. Happiness was packaged, advertised and sold. We were fed the idea that happiness can be obtained if we obey the system, went to school and got a job, made lots of money and found a partner. And don't forget to get married, buy a house, buy a nice car, nice clothes and shoes. Generation after generation, to be happy, we followed the lie as if it were true. We confused pleasure with happiness, but this illusion could not last forever. And I believe humanity is waking up. We have had enough. We do not wish to trade our freedom for security. We realize that our way of life has no future for our children. A human once said, society is collapsing and people are starting to recognize that the reason they feel mentally ill is because they are living in a system that is not designed for the human spirit. The responsibility to bring change is overwhelming and only together a future is possible. But how can we do this? How does one change the world? First, we must realize who and what we are. To recognize ourselves within each other. To establish peace among nations, we need to remember the common unity that binds us. We must calm our minds in order to make space for what is good. Now as a fire burns its way through a forest, it clears away that which no longer serves a purpose, and the ashes provide the soil with nutrients which increase fertility. In terms of ecological balance, the less frequent a wildfire occurs, the more dead wood is accumulated, which then leads to more intense and violent flames. So it would be wise for us to clear ourselves of our own dead wood before too much has piled up, and the inevitable fires consume everything in its path. We have no choice but to arise from our own flames and ashes and be reborn.